Hello and welcome to the Season 4 LEGO Masters episode review. I'm Mark, we've got Randy and Daniel here to talk about this crazy episode. The, it's episode 7, the theme of the episode was Brick Chic, high fashion designer bags for four seasons. So. No! Yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> Hate it! Try again! Hardly working. Uh, yeah. It's brick chic. It's exactly. brick chic. You gotta say it fancy. Oh my goodness. Put your pinky out. Brick chic? <laughs> yeah. Or brick chic? Brick chic. All one like word, yeah. yeah. It was B R I C. I added a K here yeah. accidentally in my notes. Um, but yeah, this was pretty fun. I got some hat challenge vibes, but yeah, I think that this challenge did it more in a. I think it's a better arrangement for a challenge because you're not having to necessarily carry it down a runway with that kind of high pressure situation. You just have to pose for a nice photo and get these cool backgrounds. <laughs> they gave them different outfits too. Right. What did you guys think about the challenge overall? I'll start with Daniel. It, it's, I thought it was interesting. It seemed like the actually putting it over your shoulder was not like a concrete requirement for the yeah. challenge because yeah. I was worried about that. You know, like you said with the runway, mm -hmm. there were very much strict rules about, you know, you Gotta have to, and the same with the dogs also, right. you had yeah. to walk them, stop, turn, whatever, walk back. It was very like laid out. This one was a little more ambiguous because I think some other teams would have had some serious issues if that was a, if that was a <laughs> yeah. fixed requirement. If they had to walk yeah. down a runway with to, their bag. You know, yeah. Say, yeah. Like, put it over your shoulder and let go for yeah. 10 <laughs> seconds or something. It could have been a, a significantly different challenge. Disaster. Different yes. outcome. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Randy? I, I think the clothing type challenges are sometimes they're fun. I'm all, I think the hat was more fun because it gave that challenge to it. So this one felt like you could ease it up a little bit if you needed to. Not the builds, but just like how you displayed them. So yeah, it was. You know what like uh, I'm saying? Like you can't, you didn't have to wear it, so it wasn't. It wasn't so frantic. Yeah. But I think he still got the same vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So. Really good challenge. Um, the, it, interestingly, they had four seasons and two spots for each season. However, there was only one in the winter category because I think they're expecting one more team to be there. Poppy and Ben oh, being oh, gone right. from You're COVID. Right. Yeah. It's the one less than they were expecting, I, I think. That. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It didn't really hurt the episode much. I think mm -hmm. we got more of the judges' feedback at the end for it. So it was, I think yeah. the edit was right. pretty well paced for the reason. I've yeah. been noticing more, you know, as I'm watching them, you know, once the judging phase starts, you know, making a note of where the, the progress bars for the episode. And it's about a third of the episode that's dedicated to after the builds are done, the the judging, the who won, the who's getting kicked off, everything else. Yeah, and yeah. it's good to see that uh, the feedback on screen because yeah. in the yeah. first episode you don't even hear more than a sentence, not even that for some ch yeah. entries. Yeah. So it's uh, it's good to see that. But let's go ahead and talk about the oh how many builds do we have here? One, two, three, four, six, five, eight, six. six. Yep, yeah. I'm counting six on my notes. You got yep. six. I got six. Yeah, because yeah, I remember notes. noting that it was down to five after this one. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, you had Chris and Robert were first to be judged, and theirs was the Leaf. The Leaf. Mm -hmm. Their season was obviously fall. It looked <laughs> kind of like the Canadian right. symbol, <laughs> but in yeah. dark red, which right. is a nice color choice. Are but, any of our teams remaining Canadian at this point? Um, I know that uh, Sam and Nina should be from Canada, okay. I believe. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm not sure. I think everyone else is from the United States. I they don't usually wrong. make a real... Apart from the first season that had Canadians on it, they yeah. haven't really made a point of it this season about pointing out who I is. I think Dave and right Emily now. were the most Canadian yeah, team exactly. that has been on like a. Yeah, they had the big the Canadian yeah. 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 But it's a little I think, more subtle this. Season. I think there are still Canadians on board. I think that they're being very low key about it this time, though. So. Oh. But um, yeah, uh, so Chris and Roberts Canadian themed leaf. I think this was one, obviously one of the strongest builds here. Very detailed. The opening feature really sold it for me because everything yeah. else is like, is this strong enough? This is like, yeah, it's definitely yeah. strong enough. What do you guys very think well about designed. their build? I loved it. I love the colors, and I like that they had so many details on the outside, mm -hmm. and so it wasn't, it didn't come off as plain. It it looked. It looked like it could have been fabric easy too the yeah. way they built it. So, so I thought it was details. really fun. At first, I was like a leaf, but. With, when it all came together, it really, it, it looked great. Yeah. I love the colors. Absolutely. They had a lot of really nice texture going on at a mm -hmm. fairly small scale. I mean, they were using, you know, one by one tiles on a diagonal, kind of like mm -hmm. the Rivendell roofs. Um, the, those little kind of flower designs that they had. It, it was all very evocative, like Chris said, of, you know, certain bigger name brands like Louis Vuitton or whatever, having mm -hmm. those repeating patterns just mm -hmm. kind of going on, which was really, really true to form, I think, for this episode. Yes, convenient for Chris that his mom is so into designer right. bags right. that he had a little bit of insight into what <laughs> they should look like, so yeah. that's good. 
if me and Steven had got in on this, we wouldn't have had a clue what was going on. We'd been like, um, it's a bag. Who would have wore the swimsuit? Yeah, I got the Walmart special <laughs> yeah. here. No, yeah. You got to get the Borat out. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes. We wouldn't have known what to do. But, um. Now, I will say, <laughs> we haven't gotten to them yet, but for uh, Lewis and um, oh. Lewis and Alex. Oh, my Alex. gosh. Oh. He, said, <laughs> he said Speedo. It was not a Speedo. Speedo. They might have nixed <laughs> that one. <laughs> it was he said, you got to at least shorts. go with the trunks. Yeah. yeah. They were great. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we, yeah. they're just one further down. Well, actually, yeah. let's talk about Lewis and Alex while yeah, we're sure. here. Yeah. Um, they, they had summer, and they really embraced they the did. theme, oh. which uh, the, the, the photo <laughs> shoot was probably the most hilarious moment yeah. of the, the episode. With <laughs> which has been in previews for several yes. weeks now. <laughs> they were teasing this coming up, and it was it didn't disappoint. It was hilarious, and, and yeah, Will's reaction to it was probably yeah. the most funny. Like, I blocked it all out of my memory. I just can't yeah. even... But their bag was actually not bad. It was the Miami kind of yeah, sailboat inspired beach bag. Yeah, the color blocking, yeah. 90s. Oh, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, the structure wasn't holding up. You could see them mm-hmm. testing it off the table. It was falling apart. They yeah. kind of had to lay it on the beach next to Alex, yeah. which works. But the judges got them a little bit for it. They ended up in the bottom two, which we'll talk about in a minute. But what would you guys yeah. think overall? I mean, we talked about the shoot, but do you guys like the bag and the blocking as well? So. Um, they had the best concept. I think their their execution, they went a little too much for the flexibility of it, and yeah. I think they should have probably just made them hard sides. I think would have been okay. Having that flexible strap, I think, would have been enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they had a really great execution. Their color scheme stood out the most from their background, whereas you know even people like Christopher and Robert, they made a bag that looks like fall, but they have a fall background, so it kind of blends in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was the same tone um, all the way across. But yeah, their their color and their asymmetry and everything else they had going on was, was really well executed. I think it was the one that looked the most like a... Designer um, bag. A true designer bag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The same. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I really liked it. I go when he first picked it up. I was like, oh, 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 (laughs) and I was hoping they'd have time to put it together because I think theirs, like being over the shoulder, would have been one that would have been really great to see them walking around with it. Yeah, if theirs was like strong and not falling apart, they could have easily ended up towards the top two of this challenge just Mm because of the cool idea and design. But yeah. yeah. The structure is important too. Yeah, I'm really rooting for Lewis and Ox. I want them to win a challenge so bad. And they're almost there. They're so close. They get bonus them. points, I feel like, for the photo shoot. Yeah. Oh. that was just the <laughs> best yeah. thing to watch. And, that, and <laughs> I think the judges did appreciate how dynamic their, you know, everything about yeah. their design was good. It just wasn't strong enough. So right. They had a major weakness there. But, mm-hmm. um, um, I, th- I think they could have used a little bit more balls in the oh, photo yeah, shoot. Yeah, they, d- they needed they more needed balls being more tossed balls. in there. Yeah, <laughs> beach balls, that's good. Not quite enough balls. <laughs> oh, mean, my I goodness. made a note about it. Even in my notes, Mark. <laughs> I did. Mine was, uh, for Lewis Knox, was work it. Work it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. They were working it a lot. Alex, g- great job, you guys. Oh, they had the entertainment value this, yes, prof- this episode. Yes, props to Alex yeah. and Alex Good and job, guys. Confidence. I don't know how, like, did they, like, wrap it for scissors in? Or, like, yeah. Lewis convinced <laughs> Alex to get on there really fast. Then he's, like, thinking it through. Like, I, how could, did I, I could just right? see Lewis saying, like, nope, not going to nope. be me. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be me. He put his foot down on that one. But uh, the uh, another summer team that we can talk about was Allison and Melanie. Oh, they yeah. had the Cali Beach bag, and uh, they also had some difficulty. They actually had a very late pivot yeah. when they took apart their larger dark tan bag that they were working on mm-hmm. and tried to make it smaller. And they did make it smaller, but they don't think they had enough time to finish it. What did you guys think about Allison and yeah. Melanie's bag this time? So, yeah, they, they were building... A really big box, and yes. they, they came Huge over box. and yes. they gave him two notes. The, mm. One was that they were concerned about the size and their ability to carry it, and the other one was the shaping of it. Yeah. So they pivoted and they totally started over, but they built another box. They yes. built another rectangle. They didn't. They didn't pivot on the shape at all. Yeah. yeah. And the and colors were better on the second one, and they had wheels and a few other fun features, but I don't think it was yeah. enough to save the overall. Idea, um, concept going on. Right, there, so. right. And it, I mean, it looked good if they were trying to build a cooler, but it just, it didn't read as, as designer bag, unfortunately. A little too yeah. boxy. What about you, yeah. Randy? Think the same thing? Okay, I put, it was a cooler, not a purse. Right. Yep. It just didn't have that, and I go, the wheels really took away of the purse aspect. Yeah. For me. I do like how they made it, how it was like morning, sunrise, sunset kind of thing. I thought that was fun, but, it, and then it just looked like, like a dog lead to pull it. I was like, oh. It looked I more think they like, got overwhelmed once they had like the luggage pivot. with yeah. the wheels. Yeah. yeah. 
And so I think there's a way like that, 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 that you could have made like a utilitarian summer style bag if you yeah. wanted to do that and, and give it some functionality like a cooler bag, but not have it look like a, a rectangle. Yeah. Um, I also noticed in some of the close up shots, I think a lot of their time got eaten up. In looking at their like sunrise, sunset kind of mosaic thing, it was all built out of one by one plates. Mm -hmm. Oh no. So I'm yeah. not <laughs> sure if that had to do with the colors they were looking for only being available in certain parts or Probably. what. But that yeah. <laughs> that'll eat a lot of your so, time. Yeah. Up. yeah. yeah. A second little thing, one by yeah. one plates and tiles. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's minutes of time just in yeah. those the stud pattern. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. Um, they ended up in the bottom two. We'll talk about the judging at the end, but let's move on to Emily and Kelly with their leather braided spring bag. It had some sand green, great texture use. Yeah. Uh, their theme was spring. This first spring bag right. we talked about. Uh, what did you guys think about Emily and Kelly's build? Let's start with Randy. Okay, I feel like they didn't get as much air time because I feel like no. I didn't really, like you they saw that yeah. first pattern and then it was like done. Yeah. And I was like, oh, look at that. I thought it was cool. It reminded me though of, you know, um, like a box you put your magazines in. Yep. Yeah. With a, or with a, a holder. Or, yeah. Exactly. That's kind of what it gave me. But I love how they did their, their brick on the outside. The, the colors texture. and the texture of it was amazing. I don't know about the shape, yeah. but I did like that. And I, I think they did something new and different. So I yep. thought that was cool. They had Kelly getting back to her roots of modeling. There you go. The, the <laughs> It was, it was cool. Break your leg. Break your leg. Yeah. 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 Lean forward. Emily yeah. was helping her yes. out. She's like, do this, do this. Do this. <laughs> Emily is so outgoing. It's right. very fun to see. So. Yeah. That was fun. Mm -hmm. it, it, they had a really nice textural pattern that they that they kind of mocked up. But yeah, I, I agree that the shaping and then the other judges' critique was their method of attachment was kind of visible, and there were some mm -hmm. gaps and places you were seeing the hinges. So I think they could have polished up just a little bit more how those how those large panels were attached. It's might worth, have helped him out. It's worth mentioning, this was a short challenge. I think they only had eight hours. Eight yeah. hours, yep. I don't remember even seeing it at the beginning, as usual, but then um, Alice and Melanie, uh, Melanie were talking about it during their um, interviews that only eight hours to build, and it's like, yeah. yeah, that's not a lot of time. So yeah. they probably just ran out of time with a big bag. And, so. mm -hmm. You know, Lego Masters is not, you know, they've done eight-hour challenges in the past, but on this season, it's been almost always ten hours. So yeah. to them, it's kind of a curveball, whereas in previous seasons, you were getting more eights or tens or twelves or, or even yeah. more things outside that range that kind of keep it mixed up. But I could see how having several challenges in a row that are always ten hours and then suddenly losing on those two, how it can throw off your pacing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think this is, is this the first eight hour challenge this season? It might be because I think we've had ten, ten, and twelve. So, so. I think yeah. most of them have been ten except the twelve. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that definitely could be factoring in. But I think that their bag was well achieved overall mm -hmm. and I think that they were pretty safe um, yeah. moving into the Because we didn't Georgia. see much of them. They, yeah. That's how you know. <laughs> they, were, they were still fitting into the middle, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But um, one team that, uh, it, it's really, really well, again, Nina and Sam with their spring yes. messenger bag, also the spring theme. Mm -hmm. And man, this was, I think, the most bag looking of any that were here. It didn't yeah. get into the top two or bottom two, but uh, what do you guys think about Sam and Nina's bag here? Theirs had the wearability that yeah, nobody else has had. Totally wearable. Yeah. Yeah. And Nina looked great in the picture. Yep. She crushed it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do. I like. I think the colors were great and how they made it look like a woven basket pattern when they were first talking about it. The they curvature. stuck with it. Yeah, and it looked great with the opening and closing. Yeah, so, I really like theirs. It was very much that kind of like seventies inspired yes. kind yep. of hippie satchel bag yeah. with the flower tucked mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, it, it worked great. Everything that they were going for with that kind of theming in terms of their color scheme, their extra um, kind of add-on things. It, it all worked really well. Yeah, yeah, very, very well achieved bag. I honestly could have seen them in the top two. I understand why they didn't end up there, but um, I mean, to yeah. be in that conversation is the place you want to be. Yeah. So, yeah. Very good. I think one of the judges' only critiques for theirs was, wasn't theirs the one where the strap was... Too textured. Yeah. yeah. And I think what they were going for was, uh, this might have been popular in the 70s, but like taking like kind of ribbon and things that they have like little bits of like little tails almost hanging off mm -hmm. of it. I think yes. that might have been what they were going yeah. for. But well, yeah, why did you point at me when you said the 70s, Daniel? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought you might know when I was talking <laughs> yeah. about it at least. I think I remember seeing no, that no, kind of textural you're, you're right, yeah. pattern. It's very yeah. bohemian. Yeah. You yes. used what yes, you had and very the, flowy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they were definitely going for a vibe and it might not have translated super well to that yeah. one element. But yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely safe. Very good build. Good to see Nina and Sam on the, the building train yes. keeping strong. So, Another team that did very well was Paul and Nalita with their 
Winter Wonder Purse. Yes. This is the only winter themed bag, and right. I think that they really did a good job. One thing I wanted to comment on before I let you guys share your thoughts on this is that they use dark gray as the primary color, which seems like a bad idea until you remember that most of the hinges and joints and pieces like that are going to exclusively come in dark gray. Mm -hmm. And there's also, that's the predominant color in the brick bit. Right. So yeah. they were being very smart with their color in the sense that how easy it is to build. Then they had to make it more lively with light blue and other stuff added later. But yeah. what did you guys think of Paul and Alita's um, ended up being top two bag? Yeah, I loved it. I yeah. thought it was good. I think they were kind of, it, it, the way it read with the edit was that they were a little bit in trouble when the judges came around to give them feedback, but they, they pivoted pretty well on it. The, mm -hmm. the judges' concerns were that it was not super shapely and didn't have a lot of finer details going on on it, which, I mean, duffel bags usually don't. They're just kind of <laughs> big sacks. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they, they did pivot really well with some things like um, the zipper feature. There yes. was a cool... Yeah. Um, it was kind of like a triangle pattern, but it looked it's looked almost like a snowflake or something on the two ends. Mm -hmm. um, I think what could have gotten them, what could have really put them over the top, um, would be if they had maybe built some little things that looked like um, travel stickers or something that you usually see put on like suitcases and things. Patches, they could have yeah. Put yeah. like some little, yeah, like yeah. patches or stickers or, or things on there, building mm -hmm. them as as little plates that could have been stuck on. I think could have broken up those those large blank gray areas a little more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Randy? Do you like their winter theme bag? I love it. They used a skeleton as a zipper pool. They great. had me at skeleton. Very <laughs> Randy. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, well, I thought that was really cool. At the beginning, yeah. when they do like the little concept art thing, which is clearly like done by professional artists yeah. based on the finished project, there was like, and it looked like a skeleton hanging on more like as a keychain. Right. So I think they kind of missed mm -hmm. the purpose of that <laughs> in the final thing. It was supposed yeah. to represent the zipper pool. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. I like that they put the little puppy in there. That was adorable. Yeah, little stuffed animals. For too. being a duff bag, I like they did. It looked like it was kind of pointed at the top, so it did have a little bit more structure than just like a round tube yeah. type. So I go. I thought it was good. I like the colors. It felt very wintry to me. They also so had no problem really posing with yes. the bag too. It seemed pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. so. And it was pretty good size. Yeah. So yeah. I think they were very successful yeah. with their build. Paul and Alita doing exactly what they need to do, doing a really good job with it, and mm -hmm. they ended up in the top two. We may as well move right along to that discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Paul and Alita and mm -hmm. Christopher and Robert. Uh, Nina and Sam, surprisingly Surprise. absent from the top two. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> Seven episodes in, this is like one of their few non-appearances here. But, yeah. um, That's right, spread the wealth. Yeah, they're spreading yeah, it around, yeah. yeah. I think it's probably time to circle yeah. it around a little bit. And uh, yeah, so two well-deserved bags, and Chris and Robert ended up taking the win, I think because... Chris finally broke character and wasn't yeah. the villain for a minute and talked about his mom <laughs> and how she that. likes bags. So yeah. oh. it was a fun moment throughout that whole discussion. What did you guys think yeah. about the judging for the winners? I, I did like Will's comment about uh, nice to finally meet you, Chris, <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Because <laughs> I, I agree with that. Yeah. I'm really That's happy so to see Chris and uh, Robert win a challenge because they've also been very... Uh, you know, chopping at the bit, ready for it. What did you think, yeah. Randy? So. I like. I think they did a great job. I think yeah. it did have a lot of fun details on it, and it was it was really pretty. So yeah. they I both posed for their bag too. Oh yeah, together. their picture we didn't talk about was great. Yeah, so very. They were doing <laughs> yeah, that. You know, the, the down with the purse over. Great yeah. stuff. So they seem to be having a lot of fun. I was. Yeah. Before we went into the watching the episode, I was thinking, wait, wait, so if Chris and Robert are doing a bag and one of them has to pose, is Chris going to steal the spotlight again or is he going to let his partner have a chance? But no, they both did it, which is yeah. great. So. That was fun. Yeah, uh, totally well deserved. Very excited for Chris and Robert. Good job. Win. It, I think this is their first because they've been in the top two before. It could be. But they've never I won a so, challenge, right? I think. So that's good for them. Congratulations. Yeah. But um, then in the bottom two, unfortunately, we had Lewis and Alex mm -hmm. and Allison and Melanie. And I think this makes sense. And eventually Allison and Melanie yeah. did go home. Right. I think that also makes sense given that, in, in my opinion, it looks like Lewis and Alex's idea they were very happy with and the mm -hmm. judges enjoyed. It just wasn't strong enough. Meanwhile, I think Allison and Melanie were struggling with the idea thing. And then the execution also didn't quite follow through. So I think there was multifaceted reasons why they were picked. Yeah. What did you guys think? So. Um, I, I think pretty much everybody was on top of their game this mm -hmm. week. So, you know, when Lewis and Alex were announced for the bottom two, it was kind of like they had to find a reason to put somebody else in the bottom two. But I, I think this was the right the right choice this week. But Allison and Melanie were 
were very positive about it. They were like, hey, this is further than we were expecting to make. Yeah. 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 It's been a great experience. Yes. So. Episode 7 is a, a long ways into an elimination oh, yeah. challenge mm-hmm. show. So. Yeah. Yep. What do you think, Randy? Yeah. I, I agree. I, well, I understand why they put Lewis and Alex there, but I I was fairly certain they weren't going to be going home for it. So, yeah. And I go, and yeah, Alice and Melanie, they did a good job. They tried to pivot. I think they just weren't able to have enough time to, to yeah. finish it the way they wanted to. But A pivot with only a few hours left yes. rarely, rarely results works. in yeah. uh, yeah. A survival or win. Right. You're usually going to be in the bottom two, and this time it was... Well, and I think from the beginning, their design concept was, wasn't was going to get them there, but they, were they made it far, and they, like I said, they left with a, you know, a good, happy spirit, so... Exactly. Yeah. Uh, v- accomplish, uh, it's a great accomplishment to get on the show. It's an even greater one to last more than a few episodes, because yeah. it's very tough challenges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great job to all the contestants. Really a very enjoyable episode overall. But yeah. I'm actually a little more excited for what's coming up next <laughs> week with the remote yeah. control yeah. cars. Great. Can you give us a little, like, tell us what we were looking at with that teaser. Well, so, I mean, they start playing it, and they're like, okay, it's it's 2K Drive this week. And I'm like, okay. And then they're like, and we've got these cars, and then we've got these boats. I'm like, okay, those are already pre-built. Yeah. And then we're going to crash them into each other. And then you've got, and I'm like waiting for them to tell me what the actual challenge <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. You crash them into each other. You take the wreckage from both of those. You turn them into something new to... Drive on a course. They haven't really said what. I don't know if it's going to be it more was huge. racing yeah, it was big, yeah. or more demolition derby or what. But it is going to be another kind right. of RC. RC I think it's a race because there yeah. was like a finish line, and they were seem to be at least going on a par- yep. portion of this okay. track. But um, yeah, what did you think, Randy? Are you excited about oh, this? Oh, so excited! As this soon as I saw them smashed together and saw they were gonna have to build something, and then they were like dramatic with the RC car race. I was like, yeah. yes! And Emily was screaming, I, Christopher! 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 Yeah. I know, I love that. Yeah. I, I did notice it was on the ground this time, though, not up high. So hopefully yes. nobody drives off. And maybe guardrails. Yeah, maybe so, guardrails, yeah. so nobody goes. Sorry. I I think this yeah. should be more exciting than either the demolition derby. Or definitely more so than the, uh, the actual like go karts yes. one, because um, that should be a little higher speed, yeah. higher action. Yeah, and uh, so possible excited. to pass people on obstacles and <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yes, yeah, so. that was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that yeah. works out. But yeah, so it, it very exciting. Definitely going to be reviewing that here on the channel. Mm-hmm. And I think that's about all for this episode. Another yeah. one in the books. Another one coming up next week. Looking forward to it. You might have yep. a surprise um, aerial appearance. Next week? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we'll maybe. see. We'll yeah, yeah. We might have something that was on the show that we can show off to you guys here in the studio. We'll see. But yeah. uh, you may have to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with that next week. And yeah, thank you, Randy yes. and Daniel, for your thoughts. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for having us. We'll yeah. see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye.